So guys, we did it. We reached a quarter of a thousand subscribers and still growing. The fact that we reached this number in such a short amount of time is just phenomenal. I, I, I'm just speechless, guys. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. End of the memes. Block time. I want to thank you guys for reaching 250 subscribers. For me, that's such an insane number. I started my YouTube career by recording a Five Nights at Freddy's tutorial because uh, I knew I wanted it and I couldn't find it. When I learned it, how to do it, I wanted to record it for everyone else. So yeah, mm, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for telling me I'm your best, I mean favorite YouTuber, because that's just that's the best thing you can tell to a YouTuber. Uh, of course, I'm not exactly a YouTuber. Uh, I may, I may have just become one, except accidentally, because I just wanted to post uh, one um, tutorial um, so I can show people how to do it, and it blew up. So yeah, that's how I started my career career so the future of the channel I don't know I can't predict future we'll see I guess I won't have much time to record the videos because I have to study and I have to get on high school because else I'm gonna be on the street and I can't have a laptop to record to you yeah that's all I wanted to say and maybe you're thinking what's so special about this video. We are going to be making a jump scare in Five Nights at Freddy's. You heard me right. So uh, let's make a new level. Default. I'm gonna show you how to make a Freddy that's going to jump scare you. Yeah, basically as that. It's going to be cinematic as I use in my own game. So, um, if I go um, in some of my levels, um, I mean, uh, night one, yeah, we can look at the jump scares. Nice. So, I knew you guys wanted jump scares real bad. Here we go. I'm going to show you. Um, what kind of jump scare we want to do? We want to make a cinematic one. That like means it's not going to be just a screamer, quick screamer. It's going to be really complicated uh, jump scare. The how, how to do it? It's is it? It is not really that complicated. Mm. So you can see this is our scene um, in our Freddy. Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, okay, listen. You are in You can see this is my game, and uh, we want to make a jump scare. This is how the jump scare looks like. We want to open the sequence. And um, there is a cam camera somewhere here we can pilot at. So, this is how the jump scare looks like. how it looks like. Um, also I have this one. Let's see where is the camera. Yeah here. Let's pilot it. Like this. And we're gonna show you I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's make a new level. And let's do the default. I'm not gonna save anything. Uh, we want to get a Freddy or a 3D model. We can get a Freddy. Hold up. Okay. So uh, let's drag let's drag our golden old Freddy. 
this is our golden old frame a tree model which is pretty nice by the way i think the textures textures are amazing the wires and everything are nice so we're gonna do use this one you can use any model you want um you have to have an animation for your um 3d model so you want to have a jump scare um I sh you can download, you can animate the character in Maximo or you can make your own. So we have this Jump Scare Freddy's. If we simulate, we can look at this Jump Scare. We're gonna use this one. We're gonna make him come to us. Um, sorry. We're gonna make him come to us and kill us like this. So it's go he's going to be here. And he's going to be T-posing and assorting dominance. I'm going to add a level sequence. I'm go not going to save it, so I'm going to just leave it here. We're going to name it Fred Freddy Toot. Oh yes, tutorial. Jump scare capital letters. Uh, be sure to move this. Um, actor somewhere where you can see it so you can just click him and interact with him if you can find him you can uh, find you just type the freddy and you click this uh, and click the level sequence and you can actually yeah so uh, now that we have this um, have this um, actor can open the level sequence we have already opened it we now have to click freddy actor to sequencer golden old freddy we're gonna add now we're now we're gonna have to look where we should have our camera like right here create new camera and set it as the current camera cut so now you can see the camera is super zoomed in because it's a film camera intended for cutscenes. Now what we're gonna do is come over here in the settings and we're gonna set this to 15. You can you can um, add any val val value you want, but I think 15 is the greatest one. So um, now that we have uh, all of this, we uh, we can click this to stop piloting. This is what the camera sees. So we're gonna place it in. A, oh God! If this happens to you, I have no idea why. But yes, it just kind of happens. So you can just go here and click this, click this. Uh, so we're gonna go right here. And here is the frame. So we're gonna leave it as this, like this. We can click this little arrow to get out of the camera view. Now we want to click on Freddy, add an animation for him. We're gonna add a Freddy idol, which is him just staying. Uh, this is going to be him standing, but I do not have an animation for that. So we're gonna use um, this one. So uh, now you can see you have this little animation um, thing here. Uh, so you want to make add him in a good position. And now um, um, you know maybe I have an animation. Um, I think I do. Um, uh, hold on, per, or per, yeah, like this. I use this one. So you want to use this one, this thread there. Uh, now what you want to do? It uh, you can see you can't move him because he has keys on the start, which is great. You can delete them and move him, and then set the keys. So now uh, what we want to do is to make him move to us. So we're gonna have this for like three or half seconds. Make sure 
this show time s is set to seconds so you can see the seconds let's say for three or a half seconds we're gonna leave it as it is like this now we're gonna get a key and transform and now we have to add an animation for walking I don't have an animation for walking and you know why because um, I the Freddy is not walking in my game so I'm gonna just use crawling you can also drag um, you can also drag two animations together to make them fade this is a horrible fade and I have no idea why why it does that um, you know what never mind I'm just gonna leave it as this he's just gonna do this yeah um, maybe it's going to clip into the camera let me see yeah this is horrible I know but we're gonna stick with it so now we want to set this to like 50 um, and make this little smaller and go to the stop this is so we can have a big working um, space we're gonna drag this in like 11 seconds this is going to be the end of our jump scare the wall jump scare uh, we have this crawl freddy animation uh, which he is going to crawl but he's not moving as you can see we're gonna make him move for four seconds now we have to get a key on where he starts moving in transform so we're gonna click this plus now we're gonna move him click on him and move him a certain amount a certain distance so we can crawl you can see now he's perfectly crawling it's not perfect but i'm gonna stick with it and again i'm gonna add an animation just freddy jump scare freddy i'm gonna make it um in fade like this and he's gonna punch us and we're gonna die as that as simple as that now uh what we we have this camera uh, we have to pilot it so we're gonna see how Freddy is going so we're gonna get a key on the start of the transform again we're we can make him like look up like you you can play with these set with these things I'm just gonna do this um, yeah, so we're gonna look at him and we're gonna get scared. Something like this. This. gonna do this yeah like this like freaking this we're gonna transform set it and now he stands up and he Bunches us, so we're gonna have to um, get a transform of looking up, and we're gonna have to do this. He's gonna grab us, we're gonna struggle, we're gonna do this, and now he's gonna punch us in the head like this punch this is going to make our heads like um like fall we're gonna fall down like this bang this is really slow so we're gonna drag it closer and yeah we have a beautiful jump scare um that's really all it takes um 
we can also make it a little more complicated and add sound effect to the audio um, and I'm not gonna say that is so I'm gonna just go to night tree to show you what you can what jump scares you can do I'm gonna no let's not save I don't want that we have I made this jump scare and I'm pretty proud proud of it I'm not gonna lie mm. where is the camera Jake your camera if you want to play my game, it's free on Game Jolt, and the, uh, I'm gonna spoil the jump scare for you, so you can. This is actually the, the jump scare. Yeah. how I've made it. You can add lights, you can um, add <laughs> jump scare sound in um, Audacity and it's freaking great. So this was how to make a this was how to make a jump scare. I hope you all are happy. You can all look at this beautiful um, dragon made picture because now I'm a weaver by the way. And yeah let's not so thank you guys so much for 250 subscribers i am really happy also subscribe and hit the like button and hit the bell to get all the notifications bro please